What's up guys, Andrew Z here with another episode of Tone Talk. So what you guys just heard was a small comparison between the stock speaker of my Fender Princeton Reverb uh, 68 reissue, which came with the Celestian 1030, versus my upgraded speaker, the Celestian G10 Creamback. Now, I actually like the stock speaker in this amp, and a lot of people don't um, on the online forums and YouTube videos that I've searched through. They didn't really like it. Now, when you think Fender amps, usually we think Jensen speakers, um, you know, lots of headroom, sparkly, low, uh, low bump and a high bump and kind of scooped in the mids. Uh, and then usually when we think Marshalls and British sound, we think the Celestians, which have that kind of mid honk um, attack cut through the mix type of deal and I'm a Marshall fan as well as a Fender fan so I really liked the idea of having a, a Celestian in a Fender amp so when I got the amp I liked the I liked the speaker but you know one of the cheapest easiest fastest ways that we can upgrade our tone is experiment with different speakers so I said you know what I want something that's similar but maybe better and um, so I chose the the green, I mean, the cream back, the G10 cream back, both of them are 10 inch speakers, and I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I was a little hesitant. I was scared that, you know, okay, what if it doesn't sound as good? Because what if they matched this uh, speaker, Fender matched this speaker to this amp, you know, for that reason? And what if it actually sounds worse? But as soon as I installed it, I immediately noticed that it was louder and something started to buzz in my room. And the first thing I thought was like, oh no, did I install the speaker incorrectly? But no, what it was, was that on my pedal case, a latch was vibrating and that never happened with the 1030. So there was some kind of frequency boost that wasn't there before that was causing that latch to rattle. So I thought that was kind of cool, took that out. Now, when uh, creating this video, I tried to eliminate as many variables as possible. So when I mic'd the cabinet, um, dead center in the cone, dead center in the uh, cone of the speaker, which is something I would probably never do. I don't like that sound as far as recording, but for our purposes, I did that and I used my thumb, that amount of uh, distance between the, the grill cloth and the microphone. So dead center, about an inch and a half um, in between and I used the same guitar and what I did was I didn't play that same guitar until I did the compar comparison video now you know on the internet and what people say to break in a speaker people say anywhere from 20 hours to 100 hours so that's a pretty big difference and I think what they're talking about is like after 20 hours it doesn't have that like stock fresh out of the box, kind of stale sound anymore. And after 100 hours, it's like at its prime and it's at its peak. So the 1030, I probably put, I don't know, anywhere between 80 to 100 hours on that thing. Um, I love that amp, that's the amp that I play the most. And it came from Guitar Center, so who knows how many hours that uh, people demoed it. So I tried to break in the cream back as much as possible. A lot of the videos that I've seen on comparing these uh, speakers, I didn't see too many people breaking in that um, speaker. So I played it myself probably around 25 to 30 hours. And then I would like set my looper on, go out, do whatever I had to do, go run errands. And so it's probably sitting about 35 to 40 hours of play. And uh, obviously I think tubes, last a lot longer than people give them credit for so i don't think there's too much variable in the tubes aging that long but yeah i'm super impressed with the with the g10 cream back and both the speakers have ceramic um magnets i've seen people swap the 1030 i've seen youtube videos where they swap the 1030 for the gold the gold 10 and Obviously, it's their most expensive um, speaker in the 10-inch versions, but I'd noticed like kind of a harsh high end when I listened to those videos, and that might be because they're not broken in because those speakers weren't broken in. 
So I went with the cream back because it seemed like it would be more balanced, more full, and more similar to the 1030, only better. And that's exactly what I got. It would be really fun to try out the um, Gold 10. I do have a 210 cabinet, a Laney, that I might throw some extra speakers in there and mess around with that, and we could do some more videos. But let's go over to the Celestian and see what they say. We, they have a little comparison on their website that you can compare speakers. So um, they're both 10 inch. The 1030 is 30 watts. Obviously, it's in the name. And then the G10 cream back is 45 watts. So there's our extra bit of headroom. Uh, sensitivity, they say the 1030 is 95 dB and the G10 cream back is 96 dB. Not a huge difference there. Frequency range, they say the 1030 is rated at 85 hertz to 5000 hertz. And the G10 cream back is rated at 95 hertz to 5500 hertz. Uh, voice coil diameter in inches the 1030 is 1.25 inches and the G10 cream back is 1.75 inches so that's a pretty big significance um, yeah so obviously it's a bigger bigger uh, coil they're both pressed steel they're both ceramic as I said um, weight of the magnet so 13 ounces for the 1030 14 ounces for the G10 cream back, not too big of a difference there. Uh, both round copper, voice coil material. Resonant frequencies, 1030 says 93.9 hertz, and the G10 cream back says 98 hertz. So there you have it. Let me know if you've ever upgraded your speakers. Let me know what your favorite speaker is. I'd love to try the Alnico uh, Gold, but right now I think that this is a perfect fit for what I'm going for. I don't see me changing the speaker anytime soon, but we will mess around with that cabinet in the future. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Keep playing your hearts out and be good to yourself, be good to others, and we can heal this world through music. Till next time.